Hello everyone, I'm Emily Powers and in this video I'm going to paint a cow and you can see it in the corner over there and I think it'll be fun and I'm going to do it with acrylic paint. All of the supplies that I'm using are in the description and there's also some links to the supplies, some of the supplies and a percentage of your purchase helps support my channel. So you can see all the um, brushes and paints that I'm using in the description. Um, so I, this is a 10 by 10 inch Fix Smith cam canvas panel. Um, Fix Smith is the brand. It's um, 10 by 10, so I decided to do it on a square. Um, and the picture isn't quite a square, but it's also not very long either. So I decided to just add a little bit extra at the top and the bottom because I wanted to do a square. So I'm going to get a spray bottle with water and spray my paint to keep it wet and spray my canvas before I start. I already took a watercolor pencil and a ruler and just did a line for the horizon line back there um, where I want the grass to stop. So it's just a little bit above the halfway mark. And I did a line across. So, uh, and right quick before I get into painting, I was going to show the schedule I have. So this is the last painting we're going to do in April. And this is what we're doing in May. So it's a little hard to see. My printer is still acting up, but um, there's some flowers uh, and a dock, some goldfish, and a beach. So it's kind of hard to see this one. It's all kind of the same color almost, but you can get the idea there. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take uh, about a half or a one inch bright and I'm going to start by making a dark color for back here. So I'm going to get ultramarine blue and burnt umber and it's going to make really dark, really dark color. And I'll get a little bit more blue. And I'll probably have to do more than one coat because this is student quality paint, so it will it will need more than one coat probably for the background. It usually does, but I'm just gonna put this all back here on this upper half of the canvas. I'm going to put this until I get to my line. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a like and subscribe. I post a new video every Friday. So if you would like to see more acrylic painting tutorials, you can hit Emily Powers Art right below the video and it'll take you to my channel. And I don't have to like get the horizon line perfect or anything, but just kind of get it close. And you don't have to have the exact same colors or brushes that I'm using. Just use something similar and that will work for you. All right, and now I'm not gonna worry about rinsing my brush out. I'm going to get some of my phthalo green and yellow ochre. It's actually very yellowy, so I'm going to get a lot more yellow ochre. And I'm going to get some of the burnt umber to make it a little bit more neutral. And some white, make it lighter. In the back, the grass in the back is pretty, just, you know, it's, it's pretty much the same color except for a few darker patches of grass here and there. So I'm going to coat the whole thing with this lighter and some 
like some of the darker because of I because I didn't rinse it out of my brush some of the darker will come through a little bit and I'll just go all the way down and then that'll be our first layer I'm gonna wanna dry it after I get to the bottom and then I can do my second coat after that so just back and forth all right so that was pretty simple for that first part so now I'm going to rinse my brush out I want to get that paint out of there and I don't have to like get it super clean I'm just rinsing the majority of it out and I'll pause the video so that it can dry all right so I think um, it's good enough I can move on so if you want to speed up the drying you can use a hair dryer and put it on the cold setting and just make sure you don't put it too close to the canvas um, that might make if you put it too close it might make the paint do something weird um, but just I let mine air dry so acrylic paint dries pretty fast so I just let mine air dry but you can also speed it up by using a hair dryer so I'm going to make my dark color again I'm going to add some water to it make it not so thick all right and just give it a second coat and you're going to be able to tell how much better it covers the second time so if um, kind of said a little bit about this before if you're depending on the paint that you're using you might not have to go over it as many times as I do and you might have to go over it more because if you're using a uh, thicker paint then you may not have to go over it as much and if it's a thinner paint you might have to go over it more so And I'm going up to the edge of the grass again. All right, and then I'm going to get my green. and my yellow ochre I'm probably gonna have to put out more yellow ochre and I'm just gonna do another coat I'm not really at this at this point I'm not doing anything different than what I did the first time So, put that, give it a second coat now.
So I got that now. And I'm going to see while it's wet. Now I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to take some of my green and some of my brown. Just take some of that dark color. And I'm just going to add a little bit of like texture, some grass back here. Just a little bit. And if your paint is like drying and it's wanting to like stick, it's like dragging your brush, then you probably want to stop because that probably means it's in the middle of drying and that your uh, if you keep going over it, it might lift the paint up. I don't seem to have a huge problem with it. Um, I don't know if it's the paint I use or because sometimes even when I feel like it's slightly drying, it doesn't seem to still doesn't seem to do anything. But if it's, I have had it happen a few times. So actually, probably several times. So just be careful. Right. Right, and I'm going to get my lighter color and just go in and I'm not going all the way down to the bottom though because at the bottom I'm going to have more uh, detail so I don't really need to do this like faded out part. That's pretty good. So I'm going to get most of that color off my brush and oops, that is right there. And let it dry. So uh, it's not completely dry. There's a few spots that are still wet, but I'm going to work on the part that's dry now. So I'm going to get a 3 8 inch deer foot and it's Princeton Select. And I'm going to get my green, this darker green, and get some on my brush. And there's some green like from tr a tree or something back here. So I'm gonna go and my horizon line is, I realized it's pretty uneven. It's like sloping down, but I'm not gonna worry about it because, you know, it's gonna be covered up with foliage over here so it doesn't have to be perfect like I said so I'm just tapping back here trying to get some green I don't want to cover up all of the dark just some of it
and then there's also some on this side but it's going to be like a darker green so I'm going to get the phthalo green and the burnt umber make it a little darker and put some back in here not going to be able to see it as easily, but it'll still be back here. So you can tell there's some trees. Now I'm just going to get I'm going to get a little bit of this lighter green and I'm going to do a little bit in this section so it's got a little bit of foliage that's maybe the lights hitting it so you can still see it. Go out a little further just in case my cow doesn't come all the way over because it should, uh, this foliage should stop where the cow starts, so I don't want to make it stop too soon and still have dark there. All right, so I'm going to get that out of my brush. that green out. I won't be able to get all of it out but I just don't want a whole lot of it. And then I'm going to get this dark color. I'm going to go along the edge here, the bottom, and put some of that dark and then I'm going to get a little bit of white and just add a little bit of like a lighter gray down here There you go. So we got a little bit of uh, detail in the back there and I'm going to get some yellow ochre and add it to this green and get a little bit more white just make it a little lighter and do A little bit more white. Do a little bit more over here. All right, so that's all I'm going to do for the upper section. Now for this. Um, grass area I'm going to put a lot of little yellow flowers in it there's like little yellow dots back there little yellow flowers you see so I'm going to get my um, bristle fan it's a number two Princeton select so the bristles are uh, firm and I'm going to get my white and my cadmium yellow. And if you just wanted to use one yellow, you could leave out the cadmium yellow and do the yellow ochre instead. Just your flowers would not be as bright. 
So you could do it that way, but I wanted to make mine brighter. And so I'm going to tap all back here and it's making these little patches of yellow makes it look like little yellow flowers back here. And I am still going to go back behind where the cow is going to be just because I don't want it I don't want to end up stopping the yellow flowers too early and making it not end up going behind the cow so to make sure that I get it all the way I'm going to go even back behind there And sometimes when you tap, it might be a little thicker. Other times it might be um, just like a thin line. So you, there's a few patches that are pretty thick. Like maybe I tapped down a little harder. And that's fine because the, there might be more flowers closer together in that section. So. So you can just have fun doing all these little flowers. You don't really have to worry too much about what it comes out like. I mean, you want to have fun with it. So, And if I do end up getting like a lot all together, I can go back with my green and just kind of tap back over them. I just want to make sure that I rinse my brush out before I do more of the flowers. So they, I'm basically just going to do the same thing until I get to the very front of, or the very bottom of the canvas. I'm just going to basically just do the same thing all the way down. I'm going to want to stop maybe about here though, because then it's going to be, any flowers are going to be a little bigger. more yellow.
All right. Oops, got kind of thick there. All right, so I'm going to get that green. And just go over that spot. All right, and then I'm going to mix some more green. Add some water when I'm using this brush at the moment for this grass. Might actually take some of the darker color and Let's see, yeah, I need to make like a dark green. And add some water to it. And in a few places just add more water because it's not coming off. Make it not so dark. back with a lighter color and just make it not so dark or to where you just like immediately look at that dark area. I'm just going to kind of go over it just a little bit. And I can take some of my yellow and just go in front of them a little bit. It's not so obvious. There's just like a bunch of dark spots. I'm just going to kind of go over it a little bit. So you got a little bit of darker grass in there. Probably don't even have to do that. And I'm going to rinse that out. And take some of my hmm. well I'm going to take that yellow and I need a little bit more down here come down a little bit further some water to the screen. I'm going to get a little bit more white and maybe some cadmium yellow and make it like a slightly brighter green. And I'm going to put some grass down here. Make sure you can see it. So I'm just flicking up and I'm not pressing down very hard. I'm just doing a little bit. So just Barely, very lightly doing it. I don't want to, if I press too hard, I'll get kind of like a 
big section of this color and I don't want this I don't want it to be just one big patch of this green I want it to be just kind of a little bit and now I'll get some of this dark green and there's some like bushes, small little bushes that are over here. I'm just going to put that dark color in. Get some more water. All right. So I'm just kind of making uh, kind of like a patch of this dark and making sure that the edges are kind of uh, coming out a little bit so that it's not this hard edge. And I'll do some here too. Alright. And I'll take some of this darker green. I don't want it too dark, but I want it darker than the green that I have down already. And I'm going to put some dark in here. And I'm doing the same thing that I did with that lighter green earlier. So this way I don't have to do each individual blade of grass, but I'm still getting some small little blades of grass down here. All right, and then I can go back with my lighter color. We add a little bit more white and some yellow. And go on top again and do Do some light grass. And you can do as much or as little detail in the grass as you want. So where I stop, you could keep going and do some more, or if I keep going, you could stop. So you don't have to do as much as I do. All right, so just add a little bit more grass down there. All right, and 
I'm going to rinse that out of my brush. And I think that my background, um, the, everything behind where the cow is going to go, I think it's good enough that I can put my cow on top. So this front section with the bushes isn't quite done, but I still can work on that even after I'm, I've am i started working on the cow. So I'm going to draw out, make sure you can see what I'm doing. All right, so um, I just got uh, my sketchbook and since this is a 9 by 12 piece of paper and our canvas is 10 by 10, I did the, the edge, I marked out so I don't, I don't need this area of the paper. And then just the top of the canvas won't be showing, but that's, I can, I can deal with that. So I'm going to draw it and then I'm going to use my transfer and tracing paper to put it onto the canvas and I've done this a few times um, so I'm just gonna um, show you how to do it so I want the uh, his nose is kind of uh, where this horizon line is so it's gonna be kind of like in here and I drew the horizon line too so from the bottom of the canvas, I measured um, on my actual canvas from the bottom to where I put the horizon line mark. And um, I didn't measure it after I painted it. That might be a better idea. But before I painted it, when I had my line marked out, I measured from the bottom to the line so that I would have it the same on my paper. And I'm going to do, if that's where his nose is, I'm going to do the top of his head, maybe right up here, and let's see, his, uh, it should make the nose a little bigger. make the head come up further. I'm going to make it bigger than I did it. Alright, so I want the horns to come out like maybe up to here. So I'm going to just mark that out where I want the horns to come. Let's do two dots and um, this horn is going to be closer to the edge of the canvas than this one. It's not going to be like here and here because that would make this horn way too long because his head is a little off center. So this horn is going to be closer to the edge of the canvas than this horn is going to be to this side. So I'm just going to do his face and I can always make adjustments if I need to. Got some hair that's like coming down over his eyes. Comes down to his nose. And of his face I'm going to do so from where I put the nose I'm going to do that up to the side and then his ear is going to come out here and now for the horn it's like it's going to come down and then it's going to get it's going to be the horn and it's going to go down and then like in the middle of the horn it's going to start coming back up 
and around. It's going to be like a tip here. And it's going to slowly get wider. And to do this side, so it's going to come down. back up So, I can always go back and erase if I get something a little messed up. And something is not right. It's kind of off. Uh, I think I made this one come down, bend down too far. to be a little more straight or pointed up more instead of down. And my eraser is running low. I need to... Okay, here we go. Alright, I think that's pretty good, but I think that I need to make the horns come out more because about where um, um, from this point to this point, actually that might be from here to here is kind of where how long the horn should be. So actually I think I got it pretty good, pretty close. and the ears bring the ears out a little bit more so the nice thing about doing it on paper first and then transferring it on to the canvas is that you can erase and change your drawing as much as you want and then once you've got it good then you can put it onto the canvas if you were just drawing straight onto the canvas with chalk or something then you would have to erase the chalk on your canvas and you have to be careful not to wipe off any of your uh, chalk lines so now i'm going to do its nose and i'm going to do it flat on top and then curve it on both sides slightly. It's kind of like a square or a rectangle, I mean. And then inside the square I'm going to do let me erase the background line back there. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna have a square inside the nose. And actually, let me bring his head 
down a little bit. And I'm going to have another, do another line down here. And then I'm going to do his nostrils. Let me zoom in so you can see it's better. You're not seeing this cow's eyes, so. All right, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna bring the hair down a little bit. And the drawing is probably gonna look funny compared to the painting. It normally does, it seems like. The drawing looks a little weird. And I want, let's see. And the head, if you take the size of the head and go down, then his body is going to be like a head and a half or so. So like, let me see exactly. Like the size of his head and then just a little bit more than that. I'm going to say the size of his head down and then his nose. So like maybe down here. And so I'm going to come from this ear and go out a little bit and then come down and go in to see. I'm going to start right about here. I'm going to do his foot right there. Alright, I'm going to erase that line now and all that I got the first foot in. Alright, and um, I'm going to do down it's got some hair that comes down and it's kind of dark in here and Do another foot. His feet are kind of small, I think, compared to his head, so I'm going to Make his feet a little bigger. And erase this background line. Alright, and then uh, you're going to see a little bit of hair behind his horn. And then I'm going to come down. and around before you get to his leg and then
You get a two feet, you don't really see very well. Let's see. Uh, from the ear, you need to bring this foot over quite a bit. It needs to be like over here. So I'm just doing some adjustments. If it's hard to see what I'm doing now, you just might just have to wait until after I finish it and then it might be a little easier to see what I drew. Oops. Oh, man, I always do that. There's other pencil lid in the the uh, where the eraser is. There's more pencil lead, and I always spill it. I need to store it somewhere else, I guess. It's always spill it. All right, so erase. All right, and I'm going to, I'm going to say his foot is coming out too far. My eraser keeps going back into the into the pencil, so I can't use it. Oh, man, I'm just having a lot of trouble. <sighs> no, my eraser completely came out that time. Instead of going in, it went out. All right, I think I got it. <laughs> Sorry. It's not wanting to cooperate today. So I'm going to bring this side in slightly. And make those feet bigger. I think I need to make his nose a little bigger too.
erase this line. All right, so now any adjustments I see that needs to be made, I can make them. I've kind of already been making them. Bring this leg out some more. And think I think it's pretty good I can always change things once I get the paint on so all right so now I'm going to get my tracing paper so this is This is a 9 by 12 tracing paper, so you can see through it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pencil and just go on top of where I want my drawing and trace over it. So I can then have my drawing without any extra lines or anything. I think I got it a little crooked. Just straighten it back. So just just tracing over it and I probably won't show you the whole tracing part because I mean I think that's pretty simple just go over your drawing Alright, so yeah, I'm going to pause the video and do the rest of this tracing, and then I'll start back when I'm finished. Alright, so I've got this traced on my tracing paper now. So now I will bring my canvas back over. And I want to put it onto the edge. Let's see. Yeah, that's good. The nose isn't um, lined up with the horizon line, but that's all right. I'm not going to worry about that. All right, so I put it, line it up where I want it. And then I'm going to take some Sorol transfer paper and let's see, let me line it up again. I'm using the red, but you can use whatever color you want. I th The first thought was to use yellow, but then I thought because of all the yellow flowers, it might be a little hard to see it. So I'm going to use red. And slip it under there. And now I'm going to use my 
pencil and without the lid I stuck the lid back in and I'm going to just go along my drawing and this will transfer the drawing onto the canvas and you want to make sure that you have like the um, one side kind of is faded on the tra uh, transfer paper and the other side has the color so you're going to want the color side to be facing down you want the waxy side facing up it's going to be the color side that has the transfer stuff on it. I'm just going to go along the whole thing. And I've got to, you don't want to press too hard and rip the paper, but you do want to press down hard enough that it'll transfer. So there we go. We've got the drawing on there now. And I will take my um, this is a 3 8 inch angle shader and actually I might not use this one. Let me use my smaller one because then I can get into the small areas too. So uh, a quarter inch angular shader, it's Princeton Select and I'm going to dip it in my water to get it wet and then wipe it off on my rag and I'm going to start by Let's see, let me move my palette back over so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to first get some burnt umber and ultramarine blue, and that'll be like the darkest color, and then I'll get some of my yellow ochre and it, I didn't rinse my brush out so it's kind of dulling the color a little and I'll add some burnt sienna and burnt umber actually more red. So I'm going to get more burnt sienna. And more of that yellow ochre. Sorry for that noise. That was the fridge. It makes noises. So um, I'm going to use this and just fill in the first layer. So I don't have to be like super, super worried about details or anything. I'm just going to fill in 
my first layer. And I'm going to use the dark to kind of make sure there's a difference between the, like I, I don't want to make it all the same color, then I won't be able to tell where my um, where my uh, drawing is, but I do want to. I want to make sure I can still see where I can fill in each section and. No. If I did it all the same color, then I wouldn't really know where the ear starts and stops. If I change the color just slightly as I go, then I'll be able to see that a little bit better. All right. And Can be pretty fast when it gets down here. Because it's all pretty much just one big area. I don't really have to change the color very much. And I ran out of my really dark color, and I also ran out of the burnt umber to mix it with. So I'm going to have to add that. sure I know where the face is. Mixing up more of this like reddish color. And I'm doing it darker so that when we put the lighter colors on top, then it will have some uh, dark underneath. So
right and I'll put like a bush or something in front of these back feet because this bush is really supposed to be over here so I'll just add another bush over that way. Okay and I didn't put the horns in yet. So I'm just going to get some unbleached titanium <clears throat> and do them with that at the moment. Even though it'll be a little different color. Once we have finished the horns, that they'll be a little bit of a different color, but I just want to start by filling it in with this bleach titanium. Make sure not to get your hand in the wet paint. It might dry it first and then go back and do the horns. I think I made it a little bit too big, the horn, so just a little bit smaller. This one a little bit bigger when it starts. There we go. All right, so it's the first layer, and you can still see through to the background, so that's why we're going to have to do a lot more. But I will take my green and it's very watered down, so let me get more paint. And now I'll do some more in this bush. Bring another bush over here too. So I'll do a little bit more on the bushes and the grass in front while our cow is drying. So I'm going to get my uh, bristle fan and I'm going to need to clean off my palette because all this paint's dry. So since this is a glass palette, I can scrape off the paint once it's dry. But you don't have to have this. You can use like a plate or something to put your 
paint on. All right, so I'm going to get this fan brush and do some more. Oh, I'm running out of all my grass colors. So, get a little bit of green, some yellow, and some more yellow. And I'm going to take some of my yellow ochre and phthalo green, and it's going to make a bright green, but not like super bright since I used the yellow that's already not as bright. And I watered it down some and I'm gonna just take that other green and it'll add another layer of grass down here. Get some white and some ultramarine blue. And water that down. So it's a very light color. I'm just going to add some of that. Also take some of my yellow and add that so some of my grass will have more yellow. And I'll probably do more to cover up some of the bushes and his feet once I'm finished with the bushes. Okay, and now I think I'll get my small number one round. It's Princeton Velvet Touch. And, oops. All right. So I want to do the bushes. So I'm going to get my phthalo green and I'll get a little bit of this cad or, uh, yellow ochre and the burnt umber. And add some water. I want it to flow off this brush pretty good. All right, so get some water and let's see. I think I need to 
to add a little bit of white so you can see it up against that dark to add more water and I'll I know you can see it real well. I'll zoom in some. So I'm doing individual blades of grass. If you wanted to make it easier, you could use the fan brush, but it wouldn't look exactly like this. Do this one over here. Now I have to get water, um, I have to get more paint on my brush. Uh, pretty frequently. can get the idea. I'm going to move everything back and get my dark bush color and put that in again. It's still not covering the grass and then I'll get my other green that I was using that out. Alright, so I'm going to get my rag and it's a little bit damp. I'm just going to get it and take off carefully the transfer paper that's still there. Just be careful not to take off. any of the paint. Don't want to take any paint off. Alright, so 
that's good. And I will get, okay, this is another brush. Um, my 3 8 inch Lunar Blender. I'm going to use that. Get it wet a little bit and I'm going to since it's still you can still see through to the background I'm just going to use this and do a little bit uh, like another layer with it water it down just a little bit and then I'll also get the burnt sienna and yellow ochre. And give it another layer. I need it more watered down. Give it a second layer here. I don't even have to go over the whole thing. If there's, uh, it's already covered pretty good, then I don't have to go over it. Give it a second layer. And I will use this and start doing some more details. Get some white with that red color. And it's watered down a little bit. And I'm going to do come um, and I'm adding some this lighter and now I got a little bit darker I don't want it as light and I'm just gonna add a little bit uh, of a lighter color but not as light as the other one was. And I'm getting that dark. Thank you. 
to water it down a little bit so that I can it'll come off the brush all right and I need more of that dark color I don't want the whole thing to be the same color so I need to make sure that I don't cover up all of the dark underneath so you can still see some dark and I want different colors so even this light color will not be the lightest color that I use. I'll use a lighter one. Okay. Getting that darker color, and then I'll get the more red. All right, and then back to the one I added white to. And I'll go out a little bit past where I had painted before the first time. some of this middle color not the dark one but not the light one the red face Get some of the dark color and go on top of what I just did. Get some of that red. All right, and then I'm going to get a little bit more white and I'm going to 
do some of the hair up here. I think you need to add water so that you can get the paint to come off easier. Okay, so now I will do, before I go too much further, I want to do this bush. It's going to be behind his foot, so. And actually, I need to mix up some of the dark color we used for our bush at the beginning. And use some of that. And go on the outside of these bushes. And do some dark. Get that lighter. All right, and then I'll get this really light color here, and I'll add some more ultramarine blue to it. Actually, let me use this light green first. It's really light green. It's not really quite so yellow. It's like that. Make sure to add water. You can do it in different directions. Don't do it in the same direction over and over again. get this like light blue color might be weird to add light blue but um, it 
seems like the light's hitting it to where some of the leaves are kind of turning a light blue. And you don't have to do, you could just do a lighter green if you would rather. Go back with that lighter green and I'm just going to cover up some of that so it's not so much. Get that dark green. Okay. Okay, so we are almost done, I guess. We still have quite, uh, still have some to do on the cowl, but um, I'm going to get a 3 8 inch angle or um, lunar blender and get my white and some of that cadmium yellow. Make it real bright. And I'm going to do few flowers that are up close. So just tapping them like that. Some of them will be smaller. Some of them will be bigger, but I want to do a few Take some of this I need to cover up the bottom here because there's some of those small flowers that I can still see. I don't want to be able to see them. the brush out real good because you don't want to get green in your cow.
All right, and I will get some of this unbleached titanium. Um, if you don't have a bottle of that color, you can use white, some yellow ochre, and some burnt umber, just a little bit of burnt umber. So even if you just had a lot of white and added just a little bit of the yellow to it, it wouldn't be this exact color, but it would be close. So if you add a little bit of burnt umber, it makes it pretty similar. And I'm going to put this on. And some of the hair is kind of going up, like maybe the wind is blowing and it's And then I'll get this lighter color again and do a little bit. Okay, and then I'll get the middle color just blend it out a little bit all right and i'll get the dark and add some the dark color down here to add some water because it's just not coming off the brush very good Get the middle color. And I get the light, really light color. And go on the edge because it's like the edge of that foot that's back behind there. And some more of this really light. Get some more water with it. And still more water. some of the other color that's not as much white.
once we get the white and we can do the highlights, then it will be good because then we can uh, really show like the edge of the face and be easier to see. All right now I'm going to get some burnt umber and burnt sienna. I need to get more of the ultramarine blue and the burnt umber. All right. Get my brush and add more burnt umber to the color with the burnt sienna. All right. And I will add more, I don't know if it's the brush or just I'm not watering it down enough, but it's like not wanting to flow very good. Okay, and then I'll get that burnt sienna color and take some of the lighter color and I'll like try going back and forth so that it the hair is kind of wavy do some of my really light color and put it on the edge of the foot. Alright, get some of the lighter color. but it still has that burnt sienna in it. And here it's lifting the color off. get some more of this dark color and make this foot a little bigger. Sienna mixture. Get more burnt sienna color. And then I'll get my unbleached titanium. Okay, 
can go over and cover up that grass there. And get some of the lighter, but it's not as light as what we just put down. And now the burnt sienna mixture. Alright, and get more burnt sienna and add it to my lighter color. that in um, between the dark and the light some of the unbleached titanium For the face, I'm going to get the unbleached titanium. And do a little bit under his chin. Get my dark color and get some of that, and then the burnt sienna color. some of this dark and put some of the dark under his chin and I still haven't done anything else to his nose so I'm gonna have to get my other brush out and I'm gonna work on the nose here so I'm gonna get my unbleached titanium by itself first and just go in and I get a little bit of that darker color now and go on the top. I'll go around the side a little bit. Okay. Alright, and we're going to get some of that unbleached titanium and the burnt sienna. 
get some white. His nose is kind of pink, so you get a little bit of cadmium yellow and add it. some burnt sienna and get a little bit of blue and I'll just blend those together get my really dark color and I also want to blend it in with my oops I got some on the edge of my canvas here Blend it in with my unbleached titanium. All right, and I want a little bit of unbleached titanium to come underneath the dark and blend it in. Some of that burnt sienna. Get the burnt sienna underneath. And then get the burnt umber and ultramarine blue again. Get some of the dark and put it under his chin. Get some of that unbleached titanium. some lighter underneath it and get some of the burnt sienna and go in between two colors okay and I need some of that dark do Oops, got my hand in the yellow. Somehow, all of a sudden I got yellow on my finger. All right, and get 
some burnt sienna and some water and oops. Cover that back up. I was going to uh, doing something else to the nose. I was going to add some more like burnt sienna slightly, but came off too much. Do a little bit darker burnt sienna. Right at the top. Alright, and I'll get the dark color again. Alright. And now I'll work more on the face. So, get the unbleached titanium and a little bit of that burnt sienna color. Water down the unbleached titanium. my small round brush again and get a little bit of white and do a little bit of white on the nose and I'll wipe it off and blend it out when I put I can put some color down and then wipe my brush off and blend it out. And I'll get some more white. Do it on the top of the nose and underneath his nostril. Alright, rinse my brush out. Now I'm going to try using my fan brush and I'm going to do some white. I'm doing it off to the side because uh, I don't have any more room. But I'm just watering down the white. And I'm going to try to to water down all right that might be better. No. Try to use the edge.
some of the unbleached titanium. Get a little bit of that darker color. Kind of got a lot of white there on accident. I shouldn't have gotten that much off. Get some dark and put it back. And I'll get the white and back. I'll go back to that later. And then over here. And you can use the lunar blender if you would rather. Do some on the edge. Oops. a little bit too much water. Get some more white with it. came down a little bit too far. Get some of my color that had more burnt sienna. Eh. Getting it way too thick. Get some more dark and put it under and then Get some bleached titanium. And so this color is not white, but it is a little lighter than what we had. I think I'm almost done. It's almost there. I do want to 
do. Um, I think I'll just let what I just did dry and I'll work on the horns. So, do this one first. I'm going to start with the really dark ultramarine blue and burnt umber. And I'm going to put it at the bottom. And then I'm going to get the white and some burnt sienna. And put that above it, and I can blend them together. Okay, and at the um, end of this horn, it's like mostly dark, so it kind of blends in with the background. And then I'll get the unbleached titanium. Blend it, and then I'll get my white, and I'll go right at the top. that in. So I can, if I want to take something off, I can get some water before it dries and use that. And I can get some of that dark paint and use that to All right, now for the other side. I'm going to start with my dark color.
get my like burnt sienna color. And then unbleached titanium. Okay, and now I'll get the white. in all right So horns are done, now maybe just take my fan brush again and get my white. And just do one more. hair here I think I made it a little bit too white, like I added too much of the lighter color, so I'm just going to go back and add a little bit more of the dark colors in there, just kind of quick like that, and then I'm going to get my white. and go over alright so um, just finishing up I'm going to get yellow and some white and a little bit of green All right, and then water that down we need to cover up his feet a little bit so I'm going to add this into the grass and go over his feet I might get a little bit more green 
and add that so it's a slightly different color and also go over the grass just or the bushes a little bit Okay, and then I just want to add some more white. Umber. See, that would have to dry for me to be able to use that. Yeah, it's too wet, so I'm going to. Um, I'm just going to show you like my schedule and stuff and then I'll go back and do that. So I'm going to get my Fabric Castell Pit Artist pen and you'll make sure you don't do it in a spot of the grass that you just uh, put paint on. And sign it and then I'll show again on um, the schedule so um, that was what we did in April and then this is gonna be May so that should be fun and I will see there's a little flower Get my white and yellow and and do a little flower there and there. And then I'll get my small brush and just do a small little stem to it. Alright. So, there we go. I could, I think I kind of went over that uh, hair on the face. Made it too much white. I should have done it darker but I'll have to let it dry and stuff so I'm just gonna go ahead and stop we'll add just a little bit more light color over here though
All right. And I do want to add a little bit more also to the ear. That's pretty good. Um, kind of got some hair come too far out here, so I'll just put that dark back over and get some burnt umber. Oops. Go over that ear a little bit. All right. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe. Um, you can hit Emily Powers Art right below the video, and that'll take you to my channel where you can see some of my other videos. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Bye.